Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to share a really useful tool with you. Make sure you watch till the end, because this tool can help you fix lots of common Windows problems in just a few clicks. It's basically an all-in-one Windows repair tool that not only solves different issues, but also gives you handy tweaks and shortcuts. Instead of going through long steps or remembering complicated commands, this tool makes everything super simple with easy navigation. And the best part? It's completely free and available directly from the Microsoft Store, so it's 100% safe to download and use. So, without any further delay, let's get started. Alright, we're in Windows 11 system. Like I mentioned earlier, this tool is completely free and totally legal since it's available right in the Microsoft Store. So, let's go ahead and open the store, search for Fixifier, and install it. Once it's installed, just open it up. This is how the interface looks. On the left-hand side, you'll notice a menu with different tools for different purposes. Let's start with the Quick Fix option and see what it offers. As soon as you click on Quick Fix, a small pop-up will appear. This one-click operation takes care of a bunch of things automatically. It clears out temporary files, removes Windows temp data, cleans the prefetch folder, flushes the DNS cache, and even opens disk cleanup for you. All you need to do is click Yes, and you'll see it go through each step one by one on your screen. Once the process is complete, you'll see a message saying the command finished successfully at right hand side of window. After that, click on fix and repair option. If you look here, you'll notice a whole range of tools and options ready to use. The best part is that everything has been designed in such a way that you don't have to go through a lot of manual steps. For example, let's say you want to check your disk for errors. Normally, you'd have to open the command prompt and run the check disk command manually. But with this tool, you don't need to do all that. All you have to do is click on check disk option and then click on yes, and it will automatically open command prompt and run the command for you. You can also run the SFC scan command from here, and it will directly scan your system without needing to type anything manually. Along with that, there are plenty of other built-in tools you can use. For example, the audio troubleshooter can automatically detect and fix sound issues. The Bluetooth troubleshooter helps resolve Bluetooth-related problems. And there's even a printer troubleshooter if you're facing printer errors. Basically, a lot of useful tools are available in one place to help you fix and repair your system easily. Once you're done exploring these, you can move on to the Optimize and Boost option. Here, you'll find plenty of handy tools like clearing user temp files, clearing Windows temp files, cleaning the prefetch folder, emptying the recycle bin, and much more to help speed up and optimize your system. Let's try a couple of them. First, we'll clean up the recycle bin, and then we'll run the defragmentation tool to improve performance. Once that's done, we'll move on to the update and maintain section. Here, you'll see a few options related to programs. You can try them out one by one to get a clear idea of what each option does. After exploring and testing these, we'll move on to the security and privacy section. In this section, you'll find plenty of useful security and privacy tools. For example, if you want to turn off the firewall, you can do it with just a single click and you'll immediately see a notification that the firewall is off. You can also turn it back on the same way. There are several other handy options too, like disabling Hyper-V or enabling it, disabling Hibernate, deleting system restore point, or creating a system restore point to recover your windows, or even managing BitLocker, where you can unlock or decrypt it directly from here. These are really powerful tools that can save you a lot of time. Now, let's move on and explore the System Tools section. The System Tools section gives you access to a variety of system-related utilities. For example, you can easily check your system specifications by clicking on the Check Specification option and all the details will appear on the right side of the window. Similarly, you can view your GPU information, which is really helpful if you're unsure about its memory or driver version. 
There's also a system information option that shows you a complete overview and you can even view a full list of all installed drivers. Beyond that, you can perform quick system tasks like restarting File Explorer, restarting the Print Spooler, or even rebooting your PC directly into BIOS mode. A great feature if you're not sure what your BIOS key is. Other handy tools include generating a detailed battery report for analysis, managing installed applications by uninstalling unwanted programs, and even launching command prompt directly from here. Honestly, these tools are incredibly useful for troubleshooting and handling everyday system tasks. They really are a lifesaver. Now, let's move on and explore the network and connectivity section. The network and connectivity section gives you a range of tools for internet troubleshooting and managing connections. You can quickly test your connection and on the right side, you'll see the ping results. If the results show up, it means your internet is working fine. There are also options to flush DNS, which clears and refreshes the cache and use remote desktop directly from here, or to reset TCP IP and release and renew your IP. You can even enable or disable the Telnet client directly from here. These are all really powerful utilities for diagnosing and fixing network-related issues. Next is the Files and Folders section. Here are some files and folder-related utilities. You can lock or unlock any file or folder, hide them if needed, or even force delete files and folders that normally won't delete. Moving on, in the Developer section, you'll find two simple but useful options one-click batch generation and build your perfect batch. And that's it for today's video. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, let me know in the comments which tool you like the most. I'll be happy to reply. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.